Right, so now the first coat is completely dry, so I've given the glue a bit of a warm up again, remember no warmer than a, than a hot bath. And at this stage I'm going to put some of that aside, and quite a reasonable amount, um, that's probably a bit too much actually, about that much. Um, and we'll need that for various tasks later on in the process. Now this, because we might not come back to it for a few days, um, I'd put in the fridge because um, it is an organic thing, so it'll prolong its life if you keep it in the fridge. So I'll put that in the fridge in a bit. Now the second coat of primer, we're just going to put a little bit of Gilda's whiting in there. Now this is what we're going to use to make gesso, and it's calcium carbonate, chalk, but it's also called French chalk or Gilda's whiting, and there it is, very, very fine chalk powder. So I'm going to put about a heat tablespoonful in my mix now, in what's left of my, my rabbit skin glue mix there. Uh, it's a fairly rough amount, but the way I think of it is, the first coat of glue, if we go back to the frame, the first coat of glue was just the pure glue to soak right into the grain, and now we're gluing a few particles um, of the chalk to the surface, which will key the surface ready to receive the gesso, which is a, a much thicker um, preparation. So give that a good stir, sort of figure eight pattern there, making sure it's all in there, we don't want any lumps or anything. And then we're going to prime the frame with the second coat. That, by the way, is called sizey white. Sizey white at this stage. And um, there we go, slot that on. And again, making sure there's always three sides of a picture frame to paint. The inside of the sight edge there, the face there, and the back. And again, get it into all the nooks and crannies. We can be quite liberal with it, but uh, we don't want too much excess floating around. And there we go. Okay, so working it all into every little thing, then when I finish this, I'm going to leave this overnight to dry uh, because it wants to be completely dry. Um, and then tomorrow we can put the gesso on here. Now that's that finished. Now again, my sizey white can go in the fridge. Um, where it'll keep nicely for um, for use later on.